So the new free pink diamond event is officially here guys and you gotta like the video because we gotta get lucky as you can see I just got a gold skull event card and you do need to get these to get the free pink diamond shea as well as the other stuff that 2k added and let me know down below in the comments right now a player that you're trying to get are you trying to get shea are you trying to get pink diamond victor went banyama obviously 2k officially added the event and by the looks of it you do have to play a lot of games which 2k you gotta realize people don't have the time to play thousands of games so they definitely do have to lower the amount of games required but i'm gonna show you guys all the details as well as the free players you can get right now because if it's free it's for me 2k did also add some guaranteed deluxe packs which obviously do guarantee you a player from the set anything from a gold player all the way until you know a pink diamond so you do have a chance by the looks of it they did also add skulls into packs too so obviously it is pay to win as well now when it comes to the event itself it is available until november the 4th by the looks of it and by the way it says until november 4th but the exchanges last for a week which 2k at least make the event last for a week because now they want us to play that many games in like three days 2k why are you the way that you are i swear 2k thinks that people play this game like 24 7 like no one plays this game 24 7 except for like 10 people and you do have to earn the the scores right once you end up earning the scores you go over here to the exchange and you're gonna want to exchange it right so you got the pink diamond score it's gonna take two diamond scores right there people are saying that it's taking over a thousand games if you do get a gold after every win i just played a couple games and all i got were uh you know a couple gold and skull packs i was hoping they would be random where you can still get like a ruby a diamond or a pink diamond after it let's go ahead and open it maybe maybe it'll give us something else let's see because i'm hoping that you can pull higher than a gold right so i do end up getting one gold right here and then we're gonna open another one and let's just see let me know if you guys have gotten skulls from these free packs that are not just gold skulls even though i'm assuming it's just gold because the pack itself says gold skull yeah, so look, it's looking like that's the case. 2K definitely does have to update that just to make the grind, you know, manageable. So it does say earn gold skull event cards after every win. And then excludes challenges, go to the exchanges. And so it looks like you do end up getting a gold one after. So I would definitely do triple red offline in breakout. That's going to be the fastest method, in my opinion, is just doing that. I do wonder if, if you do showdown or triple threat park, if you have a chance of getting something higher than a gold. But it does say earn a gold skull event cards after every win. So it's looking like it's just a gold. You don't have a chance of getting something higher outside of the packs. But when it comes to this, you know, you guys can see Shea is right there. So you do need a 20 ping diamond skull, uh, skulls, I should say, to be able to get Shea. You do end up getting him right there. Guaranteed. But again, people are saying it's taking about 1,200 to 2,400 games, which obviously is insane. So you do end up, you know, basically exchanging your gold skulls you know, for like rubies. So five gold skulls give you one ruby and then you get the amethyst by putting in four ruby skulls and then you get the diamond by putting in three amethyst skulls and then you end up getting the pink diamond for putting in two diamond skulls, okay? So that's how you do it basically. And so that's gonna be like the event in itself, even though this right here, yeah, you definitely do not wanna use any pink diamond skull for anything other than Shay. Like there's other stuff in here like Spolstra, no do unless you have extra obviously but do not use it on the box even unless you don't want shay if you end up just getting two for the event then obviously this is going to be for the people that are not going for shay so if you just want the box two pink diamond skulls if you just want full it's going to be three pink diamond skulls but if you want shay i would not use those up at all for diamond uh or at least diamond uh jaime is one diamond skull <laughs> so it's basically just shay that's going to be the, the craziest one and then uh diamond skull gives you a super pack Mm, okay so they have that too they have a deluxe pack that's one amethyst skull now remember in the packs you can definitely get higher tier skulls because to get out here pay to win you know they wilding with that they definitely have to make the skulls you got to be able to get a p diamond skull after a win is what i'm trying to say one amethyst skull you get eduardo so yeah this is gonna be three ruby skulls so outside of shea everything is manageable Shea should definitely be more manageable in my opinion. Now remember, 2K did add more free packs. Let me know if you guys are going for Shea, obviously. We got to take a look at the agendas. Maybe they're hiding a guaranteed, you know, pink diamond somewhere. Let's see. So I do end up getting this, which I already started doing the agendas. And bam, I already got a deluxe pack. Look at that. Hey, is Webby in there? Could it be what it be? I'm not sure. We're going to find out, man. Should I open it right now? What if I just pull Webby from a free pack? I'm assuming I'd probably get a skull out of that too, but let's see if there's anything guaranteed. So I ended up doing that one. It was literally just get 20 points with heat players over multiple games. 
I did that with LeBron James, my glorious, you know, Pookie James up in here. Yeah, I didn't know. So by the looks of it, you do end up getting uh, three pieces. So that's going to be one pack. So you got to score 40 points with a Hoop Invaders player. You should have one after the free box. Score 15 points and get three assists with an original owner, you know, Dia de los Muertos player, which you can get by just scoring 20 points with a Heat player. You know, you get one guaranteed. And then get 15 blocks and steals over multiple games. So blocks and steals you want to get. That's going to be one free pack. And then you get one for 20 points. That's two free packs. And then you get another one. That's three. You get 20 points with Wizards players over multiple games. Super easy. So that's already three free packs. And then you got to complete these. So score 37 points with the player. Record a double-double with the player. And then block three shots as a team. That's going to be four free deluxe packs. And so these are going to be within the challenges themselves. And then you get another one right there. So that's five. Five free deluxe packs, which will definitely come in handy for doing the exchanges because people are pulling Ping Diamond Skulls from the packs. So those five free packs, if you get five Ping Diamond Skulls out of it, that's going to be huge because that's going to cut your grind down because it, go from, it goes from 20 to 15. So with those free packs, you definitely want to get them. You want to get them anyway because you're guaranteed a player from the set, which... Includes Kyrie, Wemby, Clay, the Diamonds, the Amethyst, the Rubies, the Sapphires, the Emeralds, you know, the, the Golds. You're most likely going to pull the Gold, but you really want to get the Skulls. That's what you really want to get. And we do have that free pack. But it's not even loaded. Oh, the 2K just load up a free pin. I mean, Wemby in my pack. Ah, I want to get all the packs first before I open that, obviously. So I think by the looks of it, 2K definitely does have to, uh, you know... They got to chill with the games required because people were doing the math, you know. So it's five skulls, five gold for a ruby. That's going to be five games. And then you're going to need, you know, people are, are doing the math. It's about 1,200 to 2,400 games. People are giving different answers. Obviously, the event just came out. So the exact number, no one knows for sure, but it definitely is going to be a grind to get the ping diamond shea. So if I were you guys, I would definitely get the free packs, get the free players, and then just go after the free, you know, skulls that you get after every win. Because you do end up getting them after every single win. That's how you do it. And obviously, when it comes to other players, you know, now that the uh, the packs are out, how much is Wemby? Oh, my. 1.3 million. If you were to pull Wemby, would you sell him or would you keep him? Let me know because Wemby is expensive. Hopefully, they drop a locker code <laughs> for, like, a free P9 in skull. That would be nice, 2K. They definitely have to take it easy because... You know, 500 park wins, you know, over 1,200 games to get Shea. Like 2K, people have lives, okay? So they definitely have to decrease the amount that is required to get the Shea. But that is the event, basically. So definitely go after it if you do want it. And if you don't, then go after the other stuff I've been covering. And definitely stay tuned for more videos. In the meantime, check out the No Money Spend series. Check out the other ones I've been uploading. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.